Hey guys, Falcon Wolverine or Kyle, um, and it's April, I think, 3rd. Um, what was April 1st? Was Friday? I think it's April 2nd. Uh, city police and a guy with uh, his arm hanging out of a white truck. Um, I made a video, uh, you know, with my face on it um, and kind of talking about my situation. I know I've been doing a lot of vehicular stalking, but I kind of wanted to just do a short one. Um, on my drive home. No, I really don't want to go to my house. Like, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to, you know... Like, it makes me, like, doing stuff makes me so depressed. Like, I really like that Batman Superman movie. And, um, you know, I went and saw that again last night. Um, and I've seen it twice. And it's just like, you know, it's V2K in my ear and it's just like a lot of things like in those movies like his relationship with his dad and stuff like that and just you know Superman he says in the movie I, I'm not gonna ruin it for y'all I'm not gonna give anything away but he says like you know Lois nobody can stay good in this world and it, it like hits me how how dark things it's like a Superman movie you know how dark that can get um, and it's, it's, it's like very telling about our society, how writers write and directors direct and, you know, civil war is coming up where it's like Captain America, you know, is against this, you know, registration act and he's the one, he's the enemy of America, you know, somebody who wants the best thing, the best things for the country and it's just, it's, I guess it's cool to see these directors and these writers of comic books and books and movies um, you know, they, they do have their, their fingers on the pulse of kind of what's going on in society. And, like, in the 1940s and stuff, you'd see, like, Superman, everybody loved him, you know, everybody trusted him, and, you know, he was the good guy, and, and that was the good thing, and Captain America, too, and things were brighter, and, and heroes were supported. And now you see, like, these movies with these superheroes, and it's usually they're misunderstood, uh, you know, they're chased after, uh, you know, like in the Batman movie, you know, nobody trusts Batman, and, you know, they're usually people who are trying to just do the right thing, um, and it's, it's a very, it's a mirror of our, of our society now, kind of, I, I feel like, um, you know, there's the governmental, I think that's a coroner's van, um, I like staying at, th this is a busy intersection, uh, in, in my, you know, in my city, um, where a lot of people come through, so I get a lot of good vehicular stalking, but I just sit here, because then I'm just a sitting duck, and they're just coming by, you know, with, with I've seen, like, two city police come by, sheriff's, part, no, three city police, uh, sheriff's car, like, two EMS cars, um, you know, and then that, uh, I think it was a coroner's van, uh, had some kind of badge on it, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drive home and catch what I can on tape. But it's like, I, you know, I went and saw that movie to kind of get gain inspiration. And it does it does inspire me. Um, it's a great movie. Um, I love superhero movies. But it's just, it's really, I guess it's sad to see that. How, you know, these movies really, you know, like a long time ago, it was like superheroes and the good guys were always good and it was always clear cut the white hats and the black hats now you know most of these movies they show that things are very complicated and even the good guys or most of the time the good guys are totally like misunderstood they're trying to do the right thing but like doing the right thing is kind of punished because the the bigger system is is sick and evil and really people it's not good for business heroism isn't really good for business um, I heard that, I actually saw that in the show, but it's something that's kind of stuck with me. There's a one light car right there. Kind of stuck with me. It was like this evil torture guy on Serenity, um, you know, and he's torturing Malcolm Reynolds, and he's like, you know, heroism is unseemly. It's not good for business, you know. And I, I see that in this program where, you know, being... You know, being right, being compassionate, and empathetic, being a good person, it's not good for business. It's like if you're willing to just do anything, that's going to that's gonna make more money. Uh, you know, it's going to get more people who can, can, it can 
feed off of a situation or something. And it's very sad because there are so many positive things to do. Um, you know, and there's still positive businesses and positive charities out there that really do do good things and they get people together on good stuff. But, you know, I've seen a lot of that. Like, I've kind of lived that uh, saying that heroism is, is unseemly. It's not good for business. Um, but, you know, I guess we all got to go through that as being target individuals. Uh, you know, we're trying to, we're just trying to live. Like, we're just trying to have peaceful lives. And it's just, you know, it's annoying to these people who, who want to use us for experimentation and, you know, hurting us and getting people to believe lies about us so they can make money around us and stuff like that. You know, it's annoying when we, when we try and take our lives back and be happy. Uh, they're annoyed by it because they're so selfish. It's, it's like, they're like, this guy just needs to die. You know, I got to get this done. You know, my, my organizer feels more sorry for himself than he does for his family or my family who he's done all this bad stuff to. And in my mind, it's unimaginable because if I even like step on somebody's toe, like there's a one light car, that white car that just went by. Oh, that car too. Wow. Um, but like, if I, you know, it's just, it's unimaginable to me that somebody could do this sort of evil and just, he's so, he feels sorry for himself. Like, he's so cold-blooded, he doesn't like, I mean, he, he wants to lay more stuff on me and be madder at me for what he's done to me. And I think that, I mean, it's all, tar it's, that's basically all target individuals, you know. We're, we're crapped on, uh, tortured, experimented on harass constantly and then it's like then we're blamed for that harassment lies are made up about us so that we're just blamed for all the pain that we go through and then you know our families and our friends you know they're they're like oh well, you know you're crazy and they you know they think that we're crazy so we get punished for being punished for being punished um, and I'm not trying to feel sorry for myself and I know that we shouldn't do that but it, it's tiresome and it's unbelievable that evil has found a way to, to exponentially just increase itself, um, you know, so much, but, uh, but you know, no, I got good friends and good family, and, and even if they don't believe everything I say, they do, uh, you know, they are positive, you know, they are positive towards me, they care about me, so I've been blessed, and I, I've got to just take that blessing, and take that positive part of it, is uh it's just hard sometimes because it's like with the remote neural monitoring and microwaves uh you know they play with your emotions uh you know they hurt you they torture you uh they hit you in your sleep put triggers you know and stuff like that they play with us like toys and it's it's hard because it's such it's like the worst crime i could ever imagine and then it's like we're kind of blamed for being crazy because it's so, it, the technology is just so advanced. Technology is years ahead of what people realize, so they're not gonna they're not gonna easily believe us. Uh, but that's but that's changing. You know, we're pushing through it. I think sometimes, uh, you know, it's like that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to push on through this. It's it's not gonna be something easy to just wipe away. Uh, a lot of people are gonna have to push through what's happened. Uh, in this this program it's not going to be something easily to just kind of put away and everybody can forget about it and just move on with their lives it's going to be hard work uh, to push through it and then on the other side you know people realize you know how much work we have to do on our society to make it healthy again um, and it's it's possible because humans are good uh, but our society's sick and I mean I, I'm, I'm not you know, I'm not sitting here saying I'm great because this uh, this targeting over the last you know six years that I know of, I kind of am beginning to think of, like other target individuals, like that it's been going on for more of my life than I realize, um, and I just didn't know because you don't know you don't know to look for it, and when and and I maybe just realized it when I heard that high pitched sound when it was something very very tangible and different. Uh, then I realized that I was being targeted and that, that kind of led me to it. And maybe there's a stage of it where they do, like they, they want to reveal it to you so you start, you know, reacting, you start, you know, 
I don't I don't know how it all works, but uh, you know, it's a uh, it's definitely a challenge. Um, definitely, we are moving forward though. Um, I'm, I I just have to admit though, it's like I mean I'm I'm no saint. This thing has turned me inside out. Uh, a lot of times I don't like who I am. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not saying I'm not a good person or anything like that. Uh, I've never done anything bad before. I've told y'all the, the worst thing I've done is like smoke weed and play music loud at night, uh, which was the, you know, I annoyed some neighbors and, and, and kind of got on this list, I think. But, uh, but no, I mean, this has taken a lot out of me. And, you know, I've, I've experienced anger and uh, things that I've never felt before. Uh, the things that this program has done to me and my family. Uh, and I don't like it, you know. And that's what it's like. I, I saw that and it really made me, um, you know, because Superman, like, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to give it away the movie to y'all, but Superman's really crapped on in the movie. Uh, you know, people don't trust him and stuff like that because he has power. And, um, you know, he is a Boy Scout. He'll do the right thing all the time, but it's like everybody's trying to use him or hurt him and stuff like that. And, you know, that the part where he says, Lois, nobody stays good in this world. Like, I I was just like, wow. You know, that's that's a, an iconic character that's always above, always rises above. And to hear a character like that on a movie that's pretty dark, um, it, it says a lot about society and what people, um, you know, what these directors and writers, you know, think that people can, can pretty much stomach. And to see a character like Superman say, you know, to, to, to see so much stuff, so much corruption, and it actually wears him down. And he's like, he's like the penultimate, you know, man. Like Superman, he does it, he was raised good, you know, he has all this power, uh, but just, you know, to see how people manipulate, and they're just, you know, they all, they're all trying to do their own thing, and it's just, you know, it, it, it even, it, it wears him down, it wears him down, um, and that, that was like, I had a pretty strong emotion attached to that, um, but you know, that's how I get through, like, I mean, I'm not saying everybody should do that, but that's a big thing for me, um, since I was 10, like, I, when I was 10, I got Crohn's, and I had to go to the hospital, because, you know, I couldn't keep any food down, and it was, it was just like shooting through me, the food was shooting through me, uh, cause like I had ulcers in my intestines and colon, and I was in the hospital, like on a feeding tube, and my dad, you know, I think I've told y'all this before, um, and I'm kind of just driving around, like I've made like, I've kind of made a bunch of videos, so I need to put them out, but uh, you know, he brought me a stack of comic books, I think there was Captain America in there, X-Men, uh, there's a one light black SUV, um, you know, and, and I just, I guess I grabbed hold of that when I was younger, when it was something that was, was really heavy for me, uh, and I went to those things, I really understood the X-Men, like how they were misunderstood or different, and I used that in my Crohn's, you know, my battle with Crohn's, and it really helped, and, and you know, I, I I love comic books, I love superhero movies and stuff like that, um, and I probably, you know, I probably wouldn't obsess about it so much if I wasn't going through this situation, but I hold on to it tightly, um, and I do hold on to, to my religion tightly, not as tightly as I should, um, but I hold on to those things because they really pump me up, it, it really makes me believe that you know, that we can do the impossible, and if we believe that we can do the impossible, we can, it's not possible anymore, um, so it really is important to keep, keep that mindset that this isn't going to last forever, that nothing lasts forever, and that, you know, we have a chance for freedom, um, and I don't know everything, I don't know the future, so I'm not like, you know, I did, I did one video, I was like, man, you know, this program's going to end, you know, I like being positive about things like that, and we need to keep saying it. We need to keep saying it and thinking it and doing things to move towards that, uh, to make that reality happen. Um, you know, we've got to, I mean, we can't deny reality and just be like, everything's great and it's going to end tomorrow. Uh, but we've got to have a positive attitude. And I guess, I guess, 
the thing that I realized the other night is I was watching some fan vids about like Iron Man and Flash.